Hey, you guys, what's up? So I just wanna come on here and let everyone know that I appreciate you guys so much for your support for purchase of my product, for watching my video, for liking my video, for sharing my video. Thank you for the ones who is engaging and, you know, commenting. I appreciate you guys so much. Um, thank you for all the emails that I've been receiving. Um, you guys don't think that you could not reach out to me. I'm not one of those people that is too busy to um, communicate with you, to respond to your message. I'm, you know, transparent. I'm very open. Um, you know, I don't know it all, but I do have a wealth of knowledge about what I do. And if there is anything I can do to help, I'm always willing to help. You know, it bothered me because when I first started and I reached out to other candle maker with like simple question, it's like they act like they're too busy. They don't respond or they try to get me to buy something that they're selling. And which, in, you know, if that's what they're doing, that's how they make the money, that's fine. But, you know, it's not all about money all the time. If you know something and you can help someone, you never know what you're depositing into someone's life. That could be a blessing that you don't even know that you're blessing someone with your knowledge and you never know what God have in store for you. But just being so open to help people and not just be so money hungry, sometimes it could be a blessing in disguise. And that's why, you know, I take time out to respond to people, to respond to your comment because I am humble. I am very humble and I'm grateful and I thank God for the person that he created me to be. So I just want to come on here and just, you know, give you guys word of encouragement, word of advice. You know, don't think that you're too busy to talk to people because you could be in one spot today and it take one word, it take one person. You could go to bed one way and wake up the next day and your whole life change. So just stay humble. And if you can help someone, help someone. Don't be too proud. Don't, don't, don't think you're better than nobody because you will be humble real quick. Very, very quick. I don't know why I decided to share this message. It was just laying on my heart, in my spirit. And, you know, I want to obey and I want to bring it to my platform so you guys just stay humble and if you could help out each other help each other you know because it's a blessing you you deposit in something into someone's life and you don't even know it because you could be in that same position where you need help and just think if someone do that to you how would you feel so um be mindful how you treat people so also i wanted to tell you guys about the service today my pastor wasn't there we had a guest pastor and his word pretty much was about you know god is about to make you run and win the race you know a lot of people like to move forward in a quickness and they don't like to be patient they don't like to endure the hard time and when you get there it's like you don't know what you're doing because you didn't take time out to read the directions and read the instructions. So you're gone. And once you get there, you're looking like, well, what do I do? Rather than taking the time, being patient, read the directions, read the instructions, the Bible. And once you get where you're going, you have the answer you have everything that you need so i just want to encourage someone and let you guys know don't be so quick to move to the next level just surrender it all to god ask him for wisdom for knowledge for understanding for insight for divine connection for divine ideas and i trust you 
he will give it to you. But just be patient because it may not come when you want it. You may not get the answer right away. But guess what? Our ways are not God's ways. Our time is not God's time. He don't work for us. You know, we have to sit and be patient whenever he ready to open new doors, to give you what he feel that you're ready for. That's when he'll do it. So just be patient, you know, be understanding, and just trust God. Always trust God. When you're feeling dung and out, open the Bible and ask the Holy Spirit to lead you to a scripture to read, to calm your nerves, calm your mind, and just listen to that inside voice. Listen, because God speaks to us in different ways. He may speak to us if we ask a question in prayer it may be something you watching on tv and there go your answer it may be you driving down the street and you see something pertaining to what you ask him there go your answer it may be someone just call you and say hey i was thinking have you done this have you tried that there go your answer and another way he speak is just being silent and you just listen to that still voice inside of you a lot of us say something told me but it's not something, it's the Holy Spirit. Once you're saved, you're filled with the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit will talk to you. You just have to be sensitive to that voice because a lot of time we may just be driving down the street and we don't even know why we turn left or turn right, but guess what? The Holy Spirit was protecting you from something if you had gone straight. And it's, it's just like that. It's simple like that. You could be sitting in your quiet time and you just feel something in your heart. You just, something come to your mind. It's the Holy Spirit is revealing stuff to you. You could be reading a book and the Holy Spirit will reveal something to you. It's a lot of time I read my Bible and then when I turn the TV on or go to church, the same thing I was reading, how ironic. It's the same like scripture the pastor would pull out and give me understanding because not all the time when you read the Bible, you understand what, what you're reading. I could contest to that. So I've seen it several times where I pick up the Bible and I read something and it don't really resonate. It don't really process right away because I still have answer. I'm still like, I still have questions. And it's like, I will go to church and my pastor would read that same scripture and he will dissect it. He will break it down. And that's another way how the Holy Spirit speak. I always be telling my aunt like, I think my pastor be in my house or he be in my car because it's a lot of time I have question or we having a discussion about something. And when I go to the go to church, it's like he will touch on that same thing. But you know what? It's the Holy Spirit bringing revelation, bringing understanding. And once you guys tap in, you ask God to give you that knowledge, oh, he will give it to you. You're going to endure some, some hard time in some trial. It's not going to always be easy. Trust me, I can attest to that. But if you just wait and trust God, he's going to blow your mind. He is going to blow your mind. So, you know, I just wanted to come on here. I was just sitting watching TV and it just came to me to pick my phone up and just give you guys a word. So that's what I did. I'm being obedient. I give you a word. So I'm going to go ahead and do what I do and make this candle and I'll let you guys guess what it is I'm making. I'm not giving you any clues. I'm not telling you. You're going to guess what it is and I bet you're going to like it. So here we go. Let's get started. <music> 